Toys R Us is dead. Well, not officially dead yet, but apparently it's at death's door, according to some news I read on CNN tonight. Apparently, they're doing liquidation. Some of their stores are closing, and there's a good chance that as soon as next week, maybe, they could announce that all their North American stores could be going out of business. Now, if you're a toy collector like me, this is a bit of a problem. Uh, sure, you can go online and order stuff. People like doing that. But... I always like going in Toys R Us and just picking out stuff sometimes, which I admit, I go to Walmart mostly, but if I'm buying something a little more above the average toy level, I don't really go to Walmart because they don't carry that stuff. A lot of the NECA products you can only get at Toys R Us, and now you're not going to have that option. Um, of course, you know, there is an issue with, like, why is there a problem to begin with? Well, well, one thing could be the fact that toys are pretty expensive right now. Um... Of course, they're a lot better than they was when we were kids, but a lot of times those nostalgic toys are still pretty good, even though they are a bit outdated and don't have all the articulation that most of the new ones do have. If we will take a minute here, which I don't think I can spin this around, so I'm just going to have to walk this way with it. If you take a look at stuff here, like, I am a pretty avid action figure collector. That's some of the comic stuff, although mostly, as you can tell, my collection is wrestling figures, although... On the other side of the room here, you'll find some, uh, ooh, about, about the best on that one, you will find some uh, Diamond Select stuff that were open, reviewed, and placed back in their silver packages. Like, I know for a fact you can go to Toys R Us and you can get the Mallrats figures, and you can get the iZombie figures, and you can get the Clerks figures, or you can go and get, like, the um, Pulp Fiction figures you can't get those at walmart and if toys r us isn't around then you can go to a comic book shop but then again most comic book shops are closing down as well so it's a it's a bit of a predicament um i'm guilty of not wanting to pay over 10 bucks for most figures that i get which is ridiculous when you think of it with, with some like of course i'll make an exception with diamond select or something like that but for the most part even in toys r us like these basic WWE figures uh, please don't judge me for holding up wife Peter Rich Swan here. But usually those are at least $10 for the basic figures. Uh, elites are 20 even at Toys R Us. Uh, what, uh, these are like the cheapest thing I've got here recently is these Mortal Kombat figures from uh, GameStop. They're 10 bucks, which I'm, I, I love that price. I'm surprised they was that price. But I'm pretty guilty for going to like Bargain Hunt and stuff like Local Roses, got the Joker for six bucks, uh, Wonder Woman for five, Dirt Cheap, I got Katana, Captain Boomerang for like two bucks each, so maybe that's part of the problem as well, you know, it, this isn't a video about solving the problem because that's a whole other video, but the fact is, is Toys R Us could be going out of business and that does suck, because a lot of my friends buy their stuff there, they buy the NECA stuff there, they buy the Diamond Select stuff there, they buy, you know, uh, Bendai or Bandai or whatever it is stuff like that and that stuff you just can't get at Walmart so hopefully it doesn't go out of business but what do you think comment below do you, do you still shop at Toys R Us do you think toys are too high and that's part of the problem what's a way you could actually cost cut and keep the quality that's another problem but uh, you know let me know in the comments below because it's Toys R Us you know KB Toys I grew up with KB Toys and they're not around anymore either so let's hope that Toys R Us doesn't join that long line of cool stores that have died on us here recently.